Hey everyone! So this week's tutorial is this look here, which is basically just like a cut crease sort of eye with a really, really bold graphic liner. So I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet because this tutorial is quite long because it took me forever to film. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy the tutorial. Um, I love this look. I've been wearing it a lot lately and I'll see you in like a couple seconds. Alright, so I'm just going to start out with a little bit of moisturizer. This is the Nivea Soft. It works really well if you've got over dry skin and it's like really cheap. So I'm just going to apply that everywhere pretty much. Pretty boring, but you know what? It's fine. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off with primer and the primer I'm going to use today is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Mainly focusing it on like the T-zone area because that's where all my pores are. So mainly focusing it on there and then just rubbing the excess everywhere else. So for foundation today I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF Foundation and this is in the shade NC15. So I'm just going to take my foundation on a Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm kind of just going to buff that all over my face. This foundation is a light to medium coverage so if you're after full coverage I wouldn't suggest it. But if you've got quite um, clear skin like myself and you don't need the extra coverage, it's a good one. And it's got SPF, which is mainly why I'm wearing it today, because it's really nice weather outside. Then to blend that out, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Miracle Blending Sponge. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Thin Lizzy Concealer Cream in the shade Oriental Doll. And I am just going to, if I can get the lid off, just going to, it comes in like a nice little like applicator. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. I'm just going to put that kind of in a triangular shape. And I'm going to put the rest on my eyelids. To blend this out, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Contour Brush. along with the Real Techniques Miracle Blending Sponge. To see everything, I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent, and I'm taking that with an Elizabeth Arden Big Fluffy Brush. To see under my eyes, I'm going to take the same powder I used on my face, and the brush I'm going to use is the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. For my brows today, I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. I'm going to take it on this little The Balm angled brush. I'm also just going to take a little spoolie. So I kind of just like to comb down the brows first, and I just take that pomade that I talked about earlier and I'm just going to place that and kind of carve out the shape that I want my eyebrows to be in. So again I like to take this fully and just comb up the brows so that I can see the underneath shape and then I take some more product on the brush and I do the exact same thing I just did but I do it underneath just to kind of carve out the shape if that makes sense. And then I take whatever's left over on the brush and I kind of put that at the front of my brows. And then I take a little bit more product and I just fill in the middle of my brows. And then I'm going to take my spoolie again and just brush them through so that they're in the correct shape. And then once I've done that, I take the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just going to comb that through my brows. Cool, so I'm just going to do that to my other eyebrow and then I'll come back. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm just going to start off with my e.l.f. eyelid primer and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and blend it out with my finger. So next I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to take the shade White Chocolate, which is just that one there, and I'm going to place that all over my lid to set the eyeshadow primer we just put down. And I'm just using this Real Techniques small pointed foundation brush to do so.
For my transition colour, I'm going to take this yellow colour out of the Shanexo BH Cosmetics 9 colour eyeshadow palette, just because it's the perfect shade for what I want to use, but you can use whatever you have readily available. I'm just going to be applying that with the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Eye Brush. Also, I'm only applying this to the outer two thirds. I'm not going anywhere near the inner corner of my eye, just the outer two thirds. To buff this out, I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Now I'm just going to apply some tape to the outer corner of my eye so that I can get a really crisp line with my eyeshadows. The first shade I'm going to be using today is Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It's just this one here. I'm going to be taking that on the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Eye Brush. And I am just going to put this on the outer portion of my eye directly in the crease. So I'm not blending this out to be like a transition colour. I am just applying this in the crease to kind of create a cut crease sort of effect and I'm literally only tapping the brush in. We are going to build this up but it is good to start out with a small amount and work your way up rather than starting with a large amount and having to blend it out. But like slowly blending it into the inner half, not too much though because again you want to keep it mostly on the outer portion of your eye. Now on a pencil brush, I'm going to take the exact same shade I just used, which is Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm going to put this on the outer V, kind of making a V shape on the outer corner of my eye, just to kind of close off. Now I'm going in with my Stila Eyes of the Window Palette in Soul. I'm going to be using the shade Essence, which is this black colour right here. And I'm going to be taking that on the Real Techniques Joy Fiber Eye Brush again. Quite literally tap my brush in there like once and put this on the very outer corner of my eye again. Like we did with the brown. So again, we're kind of just building up these dark colors rather than going straight in with black. Then again, taking my Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to soften up all those lines to make it look a lot less harsh. Taking a pencil brush again, I'm going in with that black and really focusing it on the outer corner. So now I'm going to remove the tape and you have a really sharp, crisp line like that. So now I'm going in with a little bit more of my powder and I'm just going to fix up the areas the tape ruined. Now I'm going in with the MAC Black Track Fluid Line and I'm going to do a winged liner with this. And I'm taking this on a little UBU angled brush. And I like to start kind of on the outer third of my eye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the wing. And for this, I kind of just follow the line where the eyeshadow cuts off. So once you have your line, I like to go about, not right at the tip, because then you won't have a nice gradual tip. I kind of like to go a little bit, like, hard to explain, just look. And do a triangle like that. Then I like to take a little Maybelline little eyeliner brush to fill in the wing really intensely. You guys have no idea how long that took me. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and hope to Jesus Christ himself that I do not mess up this amazing eye look I've got on. So the one that just looks like this and I'm just going to apply that to my lashes. Oh my God. On my bottom lashes, I'm going to take the Designer Brands or the DB Extender Lash Tubing Mascara just because the wand is much skinnier, therefore it doesn't, it isn't as messy on the lower lashes. I'm also going to apply a layer of this on my top lashes. I just like to let all the mascara mistakes dry and I'm going to go in and clean them up afterwards. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to take that on this little Max Factor like powder looking brush. For contour, I'm going to take the Astralis AC Contour Contouring and Highlighting Kit and I'm going to take the middle shade down here and I'm just going to be taking that on this little Benefit Contour Brush.
For blush, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Blush in Dainty. And I'm going to be taking that on the Real Techniques blush brush. As for highlight, I'm going to be taking the Balm, the Maniza Sisters Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Merry Luminizer. And I'm just going to be taking that on the Professional Essentials Fan Brush. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Joy Fiber Eye Brush. And just take whatever's left over on it and run that underneath my lower lashes. For my lips, I'm going to be taking the MAC Lip Liner in Saw. Then over top of that, I'm going to take the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Daringly Nude. Okay, so that's the completed look. This took me so long to film. This has taken about an hour to film. I'm just going to cut to a close-up now so you can see what the eyes and everything look like close up. Okay, so this is what the eyes look like. Just a basic cut crease with a really intense wing. And the lips. Okay, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I helped teach you how to do this really dramatic look. I love this look. I've been wearing it a lot lately. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and I will see you guys next week.